is Force Serene with the latest on the Southern Hemisphere's uh, tropical scene. Here's the latest on the new tropical cyclone Kevin Category 2 tagged by Fiji Met Category 2 system. It was uh, named around 9am local time and is 480 kilometres west and northwest of Santo. Tropical cyclone Kevin currently moving southeast at about 7 kilometres an hour and is expected to lie very close to Santo, about 200 kilometres west southwest at 6am tomorrow. The cyclone is rapidly intensifying with possibility of it developing further into a Category 2 system. At this point in time it's a Category 1. However, heavy rain, damaging gale force winds associated with the cyclone we expected to start affecting the northern part of Vanuatu including Santo and Malakula from tonight and spreading to the rest of Vanuatu tomorrow. And for the Fiji group, as the uh, Kevin moves south to the far southwest of Fiji, parts of the group, especially the land areas of Yasora and Manuka groups, Nandi, Lutoka and Ba, Expect to experience strong winds with speeds of 45 kilometres an hour, gusting up to 80 kilometres an hour from tonight. Winds of this strength and can break tree branches, damage crops, weak, unsure structures, temporary sheds, tents in exposed communities. Heavy rain is also forecasted and the uh, flood prone areas in the western and northern parts of Vita Levu and other areas may once more be at risk of flooding. Elevated risk flash flooding over the weekend and early into next week. Strong northeasterly winds with speeds of 20 to 30 knots gusting to 45 Knots will be experienced over the Fiji waters. Sea conditions expected to be rough to very rough with poor visibility in areas of heavy rains and thunderstorms. Four metre to five metres expected. This is the rave height from Saturday across the Fiji waters and creating a risk of coastal inner over the coastal areas. Heavy rain alert is also in force along with a strong wind warning and a strong wind warning remains in force for all Fiji waters. The uh, Vanuatu Meteorological Agency 2 is on board And what are they saying? Tropical cyclone Kevin, 11 a.m. local time. Uh, the Met Office has it at 990 hectopascals, category one, located 13 decimal eight degrees south. 161 decimal 9 degrees east. Tropical cyclone Kevin is about 510 kilometres west of Torres and 600 kilometres west northwest of Luganville. Maximum winds close to the centre estimated at 75 kilometres an hour, 40 knots. And in the last six hours, tropical cyclone has moved in a easterly direction at 4 kilometres an hour or 2 knots. Damaging gale force winds, 75 kilometres an hour, with gusts of 105 or up to 105 kilometres an hour expected to affect Torba and Samna provinces within the next 12 to 24 hours as the system approaches the northern provinces. 
heavy rain, possible thunderstorms also expected over the northern Vanuatu region, flash flooding, low-lying areas, also close to the riverbanks and including coastal flooding. Seas will become rough to very rough with moderate to heavy swells over the northern and central waters of Vanuatu. The NDMO, you know, local government agency, has activated the yellow alert for Samna, while the blue alert for Torba and Malampa. And people shouldn't be undertaking the appropriate measures. And the uh, Fiji uh, Med Office is indicating a possible Category 3 system. However, Joint Typhoon Warning Centre has it located at 14 decimal 4 degrees south, 162 decimal 8 degrees east. Maximum sustained winds 50 knots, gusting 65 knots. Tropical cyclone Kevin is 374 nautical miles west northwest of Port Vila, tracking east southeast at 10 knots. This is over the last six hours, and they'll be updating in a few hours' time. Uh, maximum uh, wave height is uh, 25 feet. Tropical cyclone Kevin is forecasted to mimic the track of Judy. As the system continues to transition its steering influence to the steering wedge to the east southeast, it will continue tracking generally southeastward over the next 48 hours. During this time, the system will be in a favourable environment, characterised by warm sea surface temperatures, vigorous outflow aloft and affected minor by a moderate vertical wind shear. These factors are forecast to strengthen 16p and 95 knots and likely higher, eventually peaking near the 60 hour mark and as 16p continues polar of the steering ridge near 72 hours, vertical wind shear begins to climb. Dry air entrainment Increases, the system passes south under 26 Celsius isotherm. These factors herald the start of subtropical transition. Force 13 will continue to bring the latest information when it can. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13, on Facebook under the same name Force 13, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add Force 13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord, Fool13 at extension 9094.